It is 92.9 NIN and Friday afternoon. That means we're checking in with Harlan Cohen from Help Me Harlan, our relationship expert. How are you doing this afternoon? Hey, man, I'm doing great. I have been helping people to get naked, find love, make their relationships better, upgrade, find someone better. I'm ready to help your listeners. Excellent. Well, last week you gave us uh, some great tips for people, you know, looking out on the weekend. But this week we're going we're gonna to answer some questions that people actually have, like actual questions, right? Real questions from real people experiencing real love issues. All right. Well, what, uh, what kind of questions do we have that we're going to be answering for people today? Okay. Well, first question, this comes from a woman who is giving benefits. She is a friend with benefits. Oh, the old FWB. We, we, we know what happens. You know, there's some, there's some intimacy. And then she, she wants more, though. She wants to be more than friends. And this guy says, listen, I do not want to date you. I'm comfortable the way things are. And she feels like she's being strung along and needs some help. The answer is pretty clear. For I, I'm, I'm intrigued. Women, I got to tell you because I've 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 seen this situation in life before, and I don't know what the answer would be here. Harlan, tell us tell us what we need to know. It's very clear. If you demand respect, you will command respect. But the problem, Drew, is that most of us are too afraid of being alone. Most of us are too afraid of being single. So when somebody tells us something that we don't want to hear. We tend to ignore the truth. And the truth is, this guy just wants to have sex with this woman. She just wants to, he just wants to sleep with her. He doesn't want a relationship. And it's only a woman who knows she's good enough, who has options, who can demand and command respect. That's a woman that can say, listen, buddy, there are no more benefits till you can give me what I want. And when you're ready, give me a call. So basically what you're saying is the answer to her thing is you already know what's going on, girl. <laughs> you're just too afraid to face the truth. And most of the times we're too afraid. If she wants this to get better, she needs to find a man who's looking for a girlfriend, not a sex partner. Well, we're talking to Harlan Cohen from Help Me Harlan. He's offering us uh, relationship, love advice going into the weekend. And all right, let's get let's get to another question. What else? What else can you can you help somebody out with today? Dear Harlan, my boyfriend's incredibly hairy on his chest and back. At first it didn't bother me, but now it's starting to turn me off. Actually, what am I supposed to do? This is signed from too much hair. And <laughs> here, here's the problem, Drew. Are you, are you a hairy man, by the way? I am not a very hairy guy, but I have friends who are, so I've, I've seen both ends of that. Do you find those friends attractive? Uh, no, no. <laughs> you don't find your friend's body hair attractive. It's kind, kind of gross. Here's, kind of gross. I'm going to go with, but it's kind of gross. But here's the thing about a relationship: when you meet someone, when you want to like someone, when you want those things to be attractive, those things are going to be hot. But when the back hair turns to a wet rug, when you find somebody's uh, quirks to be uh, flaws, and you hang on to those flaws, it's not that person's problem. You know what that means, Drew? What's it mean? It means you don't want to date that person. It means you're not interested in dating that person because if you want to date those persons, you turn that thing that's bigger, hairier, whether there's two or three or whatever it is, you have fun with it. But the moment you don't want to date that person, that's the moment that thing becomes a problem. The problem isn't the thing. It's that she no longer wants to date this guy and needs to face the truth. He so, shouldn't change. She needs to change or find someone else. So you're saying like she's, she's saying, oh, I don't like this, but really that should be the sign of... Well, maybe you don't like him. When you see right, when you can't handle those little things, because this is who he is. He's a hairy man, and he can wax himself. But you know, two, three years down the line, he might get tired of waxing, and he's going to be hairy, and you're going to be her bride, and you're going to have, and you're going to have kids and a family, and you're going to say you're hairy. But he's always been hairy. <laughs> well, Harlan, you know that's a couple great pieces of advice we've gotten today. We're going to be talking again next week, and I got more, Drew. I got so much more, man. Well, and we want to be able to make sure that. Our listeners can get it can get to you if they have questions. Um, we're going to post this at 929nin.com. We'll have a link there that you can send an email that uh, Harlan will get, and next week we'll we'll answer your questions just like that. Drew HarlanCone.com. H A R L A N C O H E N. I've got letters. People can also ask me questions there. I'm available. I can't wait to help you guys. Very cool. It's Harlan Cohen from Help Me Harlan and. Yet another Friday where we're trying to help you find love in Wichita Falls. It's 92.9 NIN.